Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Up next, as part of our Story of Film Festival, we have a movie that takes us into the shadowy world of film noir, a genre that evolved in the 1940s, in large part because of what was happening in films during and after World War II. During the war itself, of course, Hollywood spent much of its time turning out upbeat movies to lift the country's morale. But at the same time, the war itself brought about a pessimistic tone that was reflected in some other films, later dubbed film noir by the French, who during the war had limited access to Hollywood movies. But after the war, a whole flood of American product was finally available overseas, and French film goers, and in particular French film critics, were drawn towards the crime dramas from Hollywood, featuring characters who were dark, usually lived in the underbelly of society, and possess very few redeeming values. And that's the case of the characters in our next film. A movie considered to be the one which in 1944 really jump-started the film noir era in Hollywood movies. It's Double Indemnity, based on a gritty novel by James N. Cain. This film version, released by Paramount Pictures, starring Fred McMurray, Barbara Stanwyck, and Edward G. Robinson. Quite a cast. Stanwyck plays a woman who would prefer her husband be dead, and when Fred comes to sell the husband an insurance policy, a very nasty plan is set in motion to help the wife get her wish. It's a film that was directed by the great Billy Wilder, who also co-wrote the movie with the esteemed crime novelist Raymond Chandler in what was the first major studio project on which Chandler ever worked. According to Chandler's own accounts, it wasn't a happy collaboration. However, both Chandler and Wilder eventually earned Oscar nominations for their screenplay, and Wilder was also nominated for his direction of this film. Stanwyck is also nominated as Best Actress of the Year. Now, neither Fred McMurray nor Edward G. Robinson was nominated for this film, one of the huge Oscar oversights. What's amazing, though, to me is that neither Fred McMurray or Edward G. Robinson, despite all the great performance that they gave in all those movies they made over the decades, never received a single Oscar nomination. Not one. But here they are, and they are great. From 1944, here's Double Indemnity. Thank you.